What's going on guys, Garrett here, and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to install and use the brand new LSPDFR, now also known as the San Andreas PDFR. You can use either of those um, abbreviations, but overall it's a pretty cool mod. Now this is the early stages of this awesome mod that we saw in Grand Theft Auto 4, and I highly recommend you guys check it out because it is pretty fun right now at its current stage. Even though there's not that much to do, you guys did enjoy the stream I did the other day. So without further ado, let's get right into how inst how to download it and how to install it. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is go to gtauniverse.com. Once you get there, you will see this thread right here, which will be down in the description if you guys want to download it. And this mod is the successor of the similar GTA 4 mod, LCPDFR, allows you to live a day as a member of San Andreas Police Department in its full glory. Now it is in its alpha stage, so there's more than plenty of room for improvement. Feel free to leave suggestions and maybe our page will have the honor to contribute to the completion and perfection of this beautiful mod. So thank you to Billy on the GTA Universe forums. And basically what it allows you to do is play as a police officer. You get to have your own police officer, your own partner, your own police car, and you have police duties to do. So it's pretty cool. So without further ado, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and click download. Once you click download, you simply just want to install this mod right onto your computer. And then you just click download. It will go ahead and give you a beautiful RAR save file. And on top of that, you will need the script hook. Now the script hook is available by clicking download as well. Script hook 5, very easy to get to. And I've done many videos. Most all uh, mods will need that trainer or script hook. So make sure you guys download that. On top of that, once you go ahead and download it, you simply want to open up wherever you download it at and drag that file, which is right here for me. These two right here. And you guys can open the README as well if you want to. We'll get that to in a, we'll get into that in a second. Grab this .asi, copy it, and simply take it over here. Take it to your Steam folder, Steam apps, then go over to uh, Common, then you go to Grand Theft Auto 5, and you simply want to drag this or copy it right into this folder. Boom. I already have it in there, so I'm not going to go ahead and copy and replace it, but that's all you got to do. Just throw it into your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. Now, once you've done that, you simply just want to run the game. So with that all out of the way, let's jump right into how to uh, get it in your game and play once you have it. So here we go. All right, so as you guys can see, we are in Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, once you guys get in, you simply want to go ahead and press F8. Pressing F8 will go ahead and put you on duty. As you guys can see, we just loaded into the police department. And you get to select which officer you want to be. Whether you want to be male LSP LSPD or you want to be a female highway patrol. Whatever the case may be, there are countless different selections you can choose. And every time you select the option by pressing spacebar, it will give you different like clothing the person's wearing. Or whatever the case may be. Like an example, this male sheriff looks different from that one. Actually, these guys are exactly the same. This is a better example. These sheriffs look different from one another. Wait, what? These sheriffs look different from one another. There we go. So you can just choose whatever one you like the most. And you go up and down the menu by using your WASD keys. And you preview what you want by pressing spacebar. Now, once you've discovered which one you want to use, let's say you want to use the male ranger, or you want to use the security officer, whatever security officer you want to use, or guard, or whatever FIB officer you want to use, whatever the case may be, you simply want to go ahead and press select, uh, enter. Once you press enter, you will then have chosen your character. This is now my police officer. Now the question arises, do you want a partner? Personally, I like having a partner. It's pretty cool. So I press enter. And then you're simply given the menu to go ahead and choose which partner you want. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick the male SPD officer again. And after selecting that, you can simply go ahead and pick the vehicle of your choosing. Now, you get to have the standard, the buffalo, the interceptor, the standard unmarked, uh, unmarked buffalo, unmarked SUV, and a bunch of other stuff. Personally, I like the unmarked buffalo. It's one of my favorite vehicles for the police. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And once you do so, you are simply given, uh, I guess you were teleported outside of the police station into your brand new car. Now, of course, this works like any other police car. You have the sirens, you have lights, and stuff like that. But one thing that is different is that you have to notify the game that you are available by pressing F7. Once you press 7, it says available right there. You see that right there? How it says available? Now you'll be given things to do in Los Santos. It means you're on duty. You know, you don't have to worry about, you know, uh, you're not on your donut break anymore, but you actually are a cop that is willing to go check out what's going on. But the thing is, this is alpha. Normally, in the future episodes, 
You'll be able to like maybe pull people over and stop them and get them out of their car and stuff like that. You see how he did stop? Normally you will be able to pull people over in the next update probably. So be on the lookout for that. I'll keep you guys informed once that stuff does happen. Now F7 is the way to become on duty. But let's say you don't want to wait. You know, like I'm tired of waiting. I want action now. You can always press F5. But as you guys can see, we just got something right here. There's something going down right here. I don't know what's going on. Well, let's check it out. I got my partner here. We're going to go ahead and climb over this barrier thing. And uh, it seems as if there might be some kind of altercation here of some sort. Let's figure out what these two people are doing. Um, it seems like they are doing absolutely nothing right now. They're just hanging out. So they're just looking at the wall. But we do have our gun. So I guess we sort of entice this, this fight. So I got to make sure I don't die. There we go. So we sort of started this fight, but as you guys can see, there's more officers coming. This officer, my partner, is now down for the count. Goodbye, sir. It was nice knowing you. Put him out of his misery. So yeah, that's pretty much what happens when you uh, get a call. And as you guys can see, backup did come, but they just didn't come quick enough. So that's pretty much that. Um, if you want to speed up the process of you getting a call, you could always press F5. As you guys can see, central available all units respond to shots fired. And on the minimap, you can just go over here. And they're right around this corner, and you got to respond to them. Oh, wow. The city's just breaking out in violence right now, boys. Let's get up here. There's something going on. They're just having a huge firefight, and uh, they're around this corner here. So, normally in the regular LSP DFR, you'll be able to, like, stop them and stuff like that. So, this guy does have a gun. Let's go ahead and stop him. See? There you go. So, pretty much that's that. Um, pretty simple. That's what the mod offers right now. Now, if you press F6... It does request backup. Now, I'm not exactly sure what that does right now. As nothing really comes up, you don't get any additional backup. No one really shows up. But overall, this is steps in the right direction for this mod. I really like the way it started off. Where you're able to choose what you want. Like, which officer, what partner you want, what car. It looks cool like that. I really like how that started off. So, overall, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the link down below if you want to download mods. GT Universe is your one-stop shop for mods and an awesome forum community. I highly recommend you guys check it out and become a member today. But without further ado, guys, make sure you go ahead. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. I'll be live streaming later on today at twitch.tv. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the support. And, uh, oh, God, there's a crime right behind me, it seems. Is it right behind me? No, it's over there in the distance. But thank you guys so much for all the support. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. I want to scream.